Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and I did a little bit of a Dollar Tree haul. I'm not normally a Dollar Tree kind of a girl. I try to stay away from Dollar Tree as much as I can. There was a time I used to love Dollar Tree, but you know, after a while you kind of figure, oh, some of that stuff is just useless to have. Some is good, some is not, but I try not to do haul videos on that because Sometimes when you think about the price, it just makes more common sense to go somewhere else and buy something else. Um, and I just try to stay away from that. But I found some goodies today because Loli Palooza um, did a YouTube uh, embellishment storage from Dollar Tree, and I thought that was an awesome idea. So you have to go over to Loli Palooza, check out her embellishment storage from Dollar Tree. It was an awesome idea, so thank you for the idea and for the enabling. Now, I had to swing on over, and here it is. Now, she's gonna be using it for her embellishments, and I thought, that is perfect. I've been looking for where I can store some of my ephemeras and paper cutouts, and I thought, this is the perfect solution. So thank you, Loli, for the idea. It's a see-through. They have different uh, styles. I like the see-through one because um, one, I can see what's in there, and two, um, well, there is no two. <laughs> um, but it's just a great idea of storing your stuff, and they're pretty big. The other ones, well, there you go, two. There it is. Because the other ones they had had polka dots and. Um, it was see-through, however, they're a little bit smaller than this one, so I like this one a lot more. I can see what's in it, and that way it keeps me a little bit more organized. I'm not a very organized person as far as color coordinating things, blah, blah, blah. That's just not me. I don't normally have that kind of time in my hands, but I have been looking for ways of storing my ephemeras and organizing them a little bit better. So I like this. So here, here's some. My idea behind this is I'm going to be making a, uh, she put three rings on there, the big one. So I'm going to order some three inch rings from Amazon and I'm going to create some folders or albums out of chipboard that will store these because the three inch binders, I was pricing them out. Now you know there's back to school sales everywhere, so you guys gotta um, grab your sales wherever you can. Glue sticks, glue, um, these little pouches, pencil pouches, pencils, all that kind of stuff that we know we're gonna use throughout the year. This is the best time to get them because they're on sale. I um, am going to get the three rings um, the little ring, three inch rings from Amazon because the three inch binders are probably about eight or nine dollars at Walmart and I thought no, we're not having that. I can just get some chipboard, uh, punch out some holes and create my little organizing ephemera folders. So stay tuned for that tutorial. As you can see I've already started to organize some of my goodies in here and I can label them however I want and I thought that was a fabulous idea. Love the idea, and I have to say that was very genius. Okay, and then they had a pack of two of these, and I've already opened them up because I was starting to put some things in. And these are little file folders, pack of two for a dollar, and I can put my little scraps in here. I can still see what's in it. And that is my biggest thing is that I have lots of little scraps here and there when I'm doing anything and I want to be able to see what's in it so this is a perfect way for me to organize those little scraps and also if I'm doing a tutorial I can keep what I'm going to use in those all right and then um, they have these which are also the poly envelope and a pack of two just a little bit different and these I'm not going to open this one up because I already have one open um, but I thought this was pretty cool. It has a little pull out, so you can use them like this, and it has a snap, a pack of two, again, see-through. You can put all your little, um, you know, if you're doing little card kits or anything like that when you're doing a class. This is a perfect way of organizing things. Or if you have leftover card socks or 
pieces of designer papers that you want to keep the collection because I hate opening up cellophane. You know, I know that Stamperia, Cartabella, those those companies, they normally have their 12 by 12 paper in those little cellophane packaging. And I hate opening and closing because it's just a pain. But I thought if I can use my little scraps on these, and I have bought some other ones from uh, Hobby Lobby, which was a pack of, I don't know, So I'm doing it by collection, and I paid $6.50 for a pack of 10. This keeps my 12 by 12 um, and even my chipboard um, like that. And this is a paper studio um, brand. But then I went to Dollar Tree, and I said, you know, I want a little binder because those don't go in a binder. I'm going to have to get a basket big enough where I can set those in. And I th said, well, I want a little binder that I can flip through what I want when I'm working on a project, especially when I'm on video. It's not a problem when I'm not on video, but it's, it is a problem when I am on video because I want to be able to flip and pick out something that I see. And because it's see-through, I can do that. Well, it has these little slit that you can pull out and do it, attach it to a ring binder. So I'm going to be making my own little album binders with the three inch rings that I get from Amazon. And it doesn't, if I can't find three inch, it could be two inch, but whatever I find, I'm gonna make my own little albums. And that way I have these nicely organized with scraps or projects that I'm working on. So that'll keep me a little bit more organized. I'm hoping, let's hope it does keep me organized, guys, because I am such cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs when I can't get myself organized. So then I found those. I only bought a pack. It's a three pack of file folders, chemise, and I love the design pattern on this. I love the colors. And I thought I can make a cute shabby chic junk journal or album and I can get several things off of this because if I cut it at about a four inch and about, these are probably, I don't know, let's see, let's measure it, right? Uh, 12, 11 and a half. So if I cut it at five and a half, I can have it for a junk journal or an album and cut some tabs on. So I'll have, um, you know, one, two, and then whatever I do here, four per sheet or four or five per little pack of per file. Sorry. Um, so I have several little things that I can use for junk journals. Let me see if I can open it again. Sorry for the crinkling. If I'm not explaining myself, I will a little bit further. Okay, so I hate these things. Throw that away. So, if I cut... Here are those butterflies. I know you're probably saying, where did you get those butterflies? I'll tell you in a second. Um, if I cut these at uh, four inches... If I cut these at four inches... inches um, and up to about five and a half, I can create um, one, two file folders. I can use my We Are Memory Keeper file folder tab punch and create one, two fi uh, file folders. And then the top part, I can use one for a page and then use make a file folder for the other one so I can have quite a bit. Even if I cut it this way, I can um, make maybe one or two file folders, either small ones or bigger ones. But I'll, I could be able to create several file folders that are small enough to go into like a 5 by 7 junk journal or a 5 by 7 album. So there's the possibilities of making several out of one file folders, if that makes any sense. But it made sense to me. And I thought it was pretty, and I had not seen a paper like that. So I like the idea of being able to make several file folders out of this. Um, and then using whatever's up here to create inserts, pockets, 
whatever with the leftovers out of one side quarter so that was the idea on that one butterflies now here's the thing about butterflies i was about to i bought a stamp and a die for an embossing to make some vellum flower uh, butterflies because i love 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 butterflies and i saw these over there and i said gosh you know for a dollar i can't even make it for a dollar there's nine in here and they have them in blue they have them in green they had like an off yellowish kind and they had it in purple and they had these little magenta color kind and i thought these are really cute and i can definitely probably i'm not sure about the back sticker but i like the the piece on top so i would probably punch out um another butterfly and put these on top um, of whatever else i punch because i just like the top part not that little back part sticker part in the back don't like the sticker part in the back i just like the dimensional part on the top so we're going to alter those a little to be of my liking l-shape ruler metal l-shape ruler at dollar tree i have the we are memory keeper laser one i hate using it because i cut myself when i first got it i was so excited that there's they're 89 89 dollars i think i use a coupon and code of course but still at 40 some dollars that was still pretty expensive for a ruler the battery has worn out on one of them and guys it's huge and it has a mat yes it has a mat but you got to put all this together and you know this thing is huge and when i was taking it apart to store it i cut myself and i kind of got my skin all tight pulled in there and my skin flipped up it was pretty gross and so i got scared of it and so now i don't use it too often but that beside the fact that one of the batteries has already got shot and I've hardly used it because it's not even a year old and I've had it cracked for several months. So I saw this for a dollar and I said, this is it. This is perfect to align things. If you're a stamper, you can use this for stamping. If you don't have the platform, this is a cheaper form of being able to stamp or align things with this L-shaped ruler that happens to be metal and that to me is totally worth a dollar. I mean, heck, it's worth more than a dollar. So that's an awesome find there. Then I saw this crocheted trim, and uh, you can use it like this, but for three yards for a dollar, that is absolutely um, a great deal. Like, what is it? Uh, dirt cheap. Um, and you can make little cabbage flowers if you do a running stitch or a um, whip stitch whatever you can make a little cabbage rose with that so I thought um, yeah let's get that because I can make little flowers for um, paper pins or whatever to embellish some of my journals that I've been working on or my projects that I've been working on so what I took there's about a yard that I did on here and I did a quick little running stitch and then I'm gonna glue it down as you can see Kinda, it's still not glued down. Glue it down to something and create a cute little cabbage rose. And you can put a little button or something in the center. So cute little flowers you can make off of this. And it's probably less than a yard. Um, I'll tell you. Let's see. Let's see. I got more than a yard here. I have a yard and maybe a quarter, a yard, and, a yard and three quarters. So I didn't use too much to create this. So it's not a bad deal. I made a little, so I guess if I would have made it more, um, we would have had a bigger flower, but there's still quite a bit in here that I use to create my little flower. So that's a good little steal there. Now, I know you can get these, um, since I am on a huge budget, um, you can probably go to Hobby Lobby when they have the 50% off in their floral section and buy burlap ribbon for like maybe, I think, I, I can't remember, it's been such a long time since I've bought anything like that, 
I think it was like maybe five bucks or ten dollars a roll and the 50% off is like five dollars can't remember uh, but right now five dollars is a lot for me so for me to get something for at least a dollar and there's two yards here that's enough because I can get several colors and use what I need so I got them in orange and I got them in red and this regular burlap and then a darker burlap and I used one of these last night in one of my projects and they're great the fibers are great to use for distressing and um, making different projects with that so I like I like that for a dollar I got four of them so anyway good deal and then Beacon has these uh, adhesive sprays there at Dollar Tree I'm gonna give it a try for a dollar again it's two ounces so I'm going to try. I know that Beacon is a great brand, so let's give it a try and see how it works. If it works for a dollar, I might go back and get more. Um, right now, uh, I just could get one. And I think, I think that was my little haul that I got from Dollar Tree. Again, like I said, I'm not typically a Dollar Tree kind of girl, but, you know, when money's tight and you need a little bit of here, there kind of thing, that's a great deal. Oh, I know. I got these little paper clips because there's eight here and I can use these for my junk journals when I'm putting them together, especially the signature pages. It just makes life a lot easier. So for a dollar, eight clips, awesome steal. So head on over to Dollar Tree if you want. Take advantage of your back to school sales. Check out the, the glue sticks, the glue, the erasers, the sharpeners, the pencils, the pouches, all that great stuff. And don't forget your composition notebook and a paper clip. Um, so get all that stuff while you can. It's on sale. Anyway, ladies, bye. Till next time. Take care.